Hey, what is up guys? I think this is the biggest buff to jungle in a very long time, and maybe the return of season 6, I don't know yet, I'm gonna have to do some theory crafting and testing on stream, but other than that, this video is gonna be a bit short, and I'm gonna give you as much details as I can pretty much, so I hope you enjoy, leave a thumbs up if it helps you, and thanks for watching. So the biggest change in this new patch is a rune called Time Warp Tonic. Your potions, elixirs, and biscuits last 20% longer, and while under the fact of potions, elixirs, or biscuits gain 5% increased movement speed, that's actually insane. So champs that used to build like Hunter's Potion were really uh, not utilizing this meta. Nunu, Hecarim, Olaf can probably all utilize this very well now. And it honestly may be the return of Season 6, as I've said before. So just getting into like more details, Hunter's Potion, you can use it 5 times. So 8 seconds every time, and obviously you can get more charge from clearing camps. So it's pretty much a 100% uptime as far as getting your 5% movement speed. And it might be the change needed for champions like Hecarim and Olaf, like I mentioned, for, for better early game. And to be able to have less risk for reward. So you're going to have more movement speed and maybe when you're running away, you're going to die less frequently and get caught out less often. And also your ganks will be more powerful. So Riot is deciding also to nerf the Blast Gones early game. So champs like Olaf and Hecarim can actually amp up through mid, early to mid game and have more of an effect. So, you know, champs like Lee Sin and have really fallen out of the meta. So if you're playing against champs like Sejuani, Warwick, Ramis, stuff that's extremely meta right now, you'll have to have more opportunities. And with this, it's going to really help you out from early to mid game to be able to get a snowball for your team. Another great way to utilize the Hunter's Potion combination with Tonek is the Iron Skin, Rune, and Mirror Shell. So Mirror Shell and Iron Skin are both in Resolve Tree. And additionally, you gain a non-stacking 5% armor for 3 seconds when we restore at least 20 health. Use a specific consumable or Arshila. That's for Iron Skin. Whereas for Mirror Shell, it's 5% magic resistance for 3 seconds whenever we restore at least 20, 20 health. Same thing pretty much. So I think combining inspiration with resolve for junglers such as the one I, the ones I mentioned may be a very good power spike and way better early and mid game that was needed. You can also use something like biscuit to trigger these effects but for the most part I think the synergy is going to be insane on these three runes together and also the newest thing the newest rune bone plating another great asset to the resolve tree after taking damage from knighting a champion after next three spells or attacks against you deal 20 to 50 less damage at levels 1 to 18. So another way of being even more tankier early to mid game. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you'll be taking a resolve tree as your primary. If you're playing a champ like Olaf, you'll be taking Grasp. Whereas if you're playing a champion like Hecarim, you'll be taking Aftershock as you can proc it with your E or your R. Not really sure yet, haven't experimented, which I'll be doing on stream later tomorrow. And then next row you'll be taking bone plating the newest rune to be as tanky as possible. I guess you can take font of life as well, but bone plating may just be too good. I think the numbers are just way too good on it. Next row is iron skin or magic shell or mirror shell, what it's called, dependent on whether or not you're against heavy AD or heavy AP. And finally unflinching because you'll be taking ghosts on champions. Again, Hecarim and Olaf take ghosts. So this is a really good shift in the meta. I think if this works out, this is really well done by Riot. And as your secondary, you'll obviously need inspiration, as that's where Time Warp Tonic is placed in. So for your, for your secondary rune, you can get Magical Footwear, Stopwatch, Futures Market. I think those are the top three you'll be looking in. Unfortunately, Cosmic Insight's in the same row as Time Warp Tonic, so you can't take that. Approach Velocity is also useless, so that's whatever. But as far as your second one, I'm not really sure yet. I'll do some experimenting, but... Probably going to be Futures Market, you want to get your items as soon as possible, be as tanky, and have as much DPS as possible. The longer you survive, the more DPS you will do, early game, and mid game, and late game. So the conclusion of this video that you should grasp is champions like Olaf, Hecarim would come back at the meta, Time Warp Tonic in combination with Mirror Shell, or Iron Skin, and Hunter's Potion is a really strong trinity. I haven't tried it out, but as far as I'm concerned, it looks really good on paper, and I don't think it should be underestimated. I know these champions are really low win rate and have not seen any place in the meta whatsoever, but with all the early game changes to jungle and mid game changes, like I think champs, these champions that prioritize ghosts over flush will have way more opportunities to snowball their team and therefore snowballing themselves compared to the, to the tanks that take way longer to ramp up but have better early games. 
Movement speed is a very underrated aspect in League of Legends. I think all the AP item changes pretty much showcases that. And for junglers, it's pretty much like one of the most important things you can rely on. Like you can move through your camps faster, therefore clear faster. You can innovate faster, you can get to objectives faster. It's just a time thing. And jungle is all about decision making and timing. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope it helps you climb and I'll be streaming on Twitch tomorrow or whenever you watch this, I stream Monday through Friday. So if you want to tune in, that would be great. And I'll be playing these champions and seeing how well they do. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And also subscribe for more guides and videos. Have a nice day.